My name is Christina Rhodes, and I am a volunteer with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Make-A-Wish grants wishes to children with life-threatening medical conditions to enrich the human experience with hope, strength, and joy. Um, the biggest distinction that Make-A-Wish has over other wish-granting organizations is that we do not necessarily grant wishes to only children with terminal illness. Our mission is life-threatening. So many of our kids will recover from their condition or learn to manage it and go on to lead very long, normal, healthy lives. Um, I'm here today with Cleet Winkler, who is one such example of a survivor of his illness, and he is uh, offered to share his wish experience with us. So when I was young, my late Uncle Chris always made it his goal to turn me into a Bears fan, and so I've been a Bears fan ever since I was little. And being a Bears fan, I was a huge fan of Walter Payton, who was a running back for the Bears. And it was his playing style that inspired me to be like him, and his motto of never die easy on the field. And I always wanted to take that to heart and make that my playing style as well in sports. I was going through all the illness, I always made it a point that I didn't want to just survive it, I wanted to live through it and live afterwards and keep playing sports as an, as an example. And so after I got done with my treatment I decided to have a bear cement done, it was a man cave filled with bear stuff so that Every time I went down into my basement, I would be reminded of the motto, never die easy, so that I knew I couldn't stop playing sports because I knew that if somebody else saw that I could quit, they might think that quitting was an okay wish, thing to do. Um, for the Chicago Bears basement, hence the Bearsment, um, was really a community effort by everyone in the community. Um, all of the funds were raised locally for local organizations. The, the community chipped in and helped with painting and helped with installation of all the electronics. The thing about the Make-A-Wish Foundation is it's not <clears throat> just a great vacation and it's not just um, a man cave. Um, Cleet's Wish was an example of how Make-A-Wish can actually bring communities together um, to inspire and um, help others. Our, I consider our community a big, small town. There's a need, we rally around to make sure that that need is met. Well, I'm 20 years old now. I attend college at uh, IUPUI up in Indianapolis. I am trying to get into the radiation therapy program to help out other people who've had cancer. So the Make-A-Wish called and asked me if I wanted to attend a golf scramble outing, a fundraiser, just as, as like a representative of somebody who's received a wish. And then I got there and had no idea that Eddie Payton, Walter Payton's brother, was going to be there. And so I spent the entire day uh, riding around with Eddie through the golf course taking pictures with people and experiencing what he was like and that Walter Payton's no longer here and that I could spend an entire day with Eddie was basically I think as close as I could have gotten to meeting Walter Payton and seeing what he was like I'm thinking he was a lot like him and it was basically an entire new wish that I had granted and something that I could have never actually thought about wishing for that came true and so I'd like I'd thank make a wish for that. There are currently 17 kids like Cleet right here in our community that are waiting for their wish to be granted. Uh, we can't do what we do without the generosity of the folks in our community. There are lots of different ways to get involved with Make-A-Wish. We are supported by corporations, um, civic groups, um, schools. There's wish makers on campus. Um, 
community groups, churches. There are even no-cost ways you can get involved with Make-A-Wish that will make a huge impact on our bottom line. If you would like to learn more about who we are and what we do, please visit www.makeawishindiana.org. Being in southern Indiana, surrounded by lots of Colts fans, it just it added some pride to be that much of a Bears fan and be surrounded by the people who didn't always agree with me.